Hi guys, what's up? This is Shubhadi from eGadgets for you. In this video, I'll do the unboxing of the very new Samsung Z3. It's a new handset from Samsung that runs on the Samsung operating system of Tizen. At the back of the cover, as you can see, it says about the ultra data saving mode, the 8 megapixel and the 5 megapixel camera and also the ultra power saving mode. So these are some of the wonderful features that is coming along with this particular Z3 from Samsung. Additionally with the Vodafone SIM you get a 1 GB of data for 2 months free. At the side as you can see it says make for India celebrating for India. So this particular handset is only available in India with some My Galaxy Mixed Radio and HD Super AMOLED screen. Let's dig deep into the handset by opening this particular phone. This is a Galaxy Z3 device. Let us just put it aside for some more time and let's see what are the other aspects that comes along with this particular box. We do have the Samsung Quick Start Guide, the SAR certification and the warranty card. Pretty standard Samsung stuffs. Of course we do have this earpiece. As we know by now that with any budget handsets from Samsung, we do get this type of earpiece. These are not bad either. They do have a decent sound output but obviously not the best of the headphones. We do have the wall mount charger over here. And of course, the USB cable or the USB charger connector point over here. Uh, as obvious in this budget handset, the distance of the wire is not uh, that much high. Lastly, and most importantly, we do have the 2600 mAh of battery from Samsung. So, these are the things that comes along with your Samsung Z3. So, let's keep aside all the things and dig deep into the handset. Now, at the back, as is obvious, it does use a micro SIM and we have the primary SIM slot over here and just above the primary SIM slot is the option to add the additional micro SD card that supports up to 128 gigs. We do have the secondary SIM slot over here, both of the micro SIM slots and the 2600 mAh of battery just goes over here just like that. Let me give you a physical overview of the handset at first. My very first impression and the initial impression is that it's a smaller version of the Samsung Galaxy A7. Although uh, A7 is a metal build and this obviously looks like metal. If you just see the handset uh, at a glance, you will get the feel that it's a metal build but it's not. It's very premium plastic. Most so at the edges, you will see it's a shiny material that they have used and obviously it gives you a royal feeling in the hands also. At the top you will find the 3.5 mm jack input. At the front you do have a 5 megapixel shooter, the sensors, the earpiece, Samsung branding, the 5 inch of display. At the bottom you have the home button, the back button and the multitasking button. Just on the left hand side are the volume rockers. This particular switch is also greatly crafted over here, although it's made out of plastic. Just on the right hand side is a power on and off button or the screen lock button. At the very bottom you find the mouthpiece, the USB charger, the connector point over here. At the back we have a 13 megapixel shooter with LED flash, the speaker grills, Samsung branding and the Duo's branding. Just, let us just go ahead and power on the device for the very first time. Okay, Samsung Z3 powered by Tizen. As you know, this is not an Android handset and is driven by the very own OS from Samsung. And it directly takes me to the initial screen of the Samsung Z3. As obviously it's not an Android handset, so I do not need to configure it. This is a very first look at the Samsung Z3. Now, as you can see that the interface is quite catching, quite interesting. You do have the quick access with the Yahoo, the Jabong, Twitter, NDTV, India Times, Redbus, OLX, Rediff, plenty more stuffs that are pre-installed, pre-built over this in this particular handset. It's part by Tizen. Now, if I go to the drop-down menu, you will see that there is no auto brightness sensor, although the outdoor sensor is present over here. And in the toggle menus, you do have the straightforward Wi-Fi, mobile data, the torch. Very interestingly, you do have an ultra power saving mode and ultra data saving mode. If I enable this particular mode, it will actually combine the mobile data as well as Wi-Fi and give you the maximum uh, internet speed while browsing the nets and going through and surfing them. It gives you the best available result and uh, speed while using your internet with the ultra data saving mode. Now we do have the location and the flight mode. Pretty useful, pretty straightforward stuffs. Let us just go to settings over here and you will find that over here uh, you get a uh, styler, the special days. So if we just go to each and everything over there, you will see that uh, this is uh, just uh, the styling for the lock screen, the home screen, the colors and obviously we do have some of the important things that says the themes. This is something that you find in the J2 as well. So these are straightforward stuffs and pretty useful and pretty decent catchy to the eyes also. 
So apart from that, uh, this particular Samsung Z3 has a super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen with 16M of color and supports a resolution of 720 into 1280. It has a 294 ppi pixel density. Let me just fire up the browsers for now. Before doing that, I want to show you the numpad over here. It's so beautifully built over here. It feels great to the eyes and also easy to use. So if you just go ahead and type my official website egadgetsforyou.com and just hit go. Okay, I have to enable the Wi-Fi. You see that it does not take uh, that much of a time to load this particular website. Quite frankly, so it runs on a Spectrum chipset with a quad core processor that is clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. It has a 1 gigs of RAM. So those does comes in handy while browsing the net also. If I just very quickly go ahead and go to any particular news, then also you see that browsing the net is a delight because of the speed availability in this particular device. The touch sensation is awesome. The pinch to zoom is working perfect, working great. I'll just use it extensively even more and see how it performs again. And obviously, uh, my initial impressions is that it's definitely a huge, a great phone. Only minus point is that it's not an Android device, so I'll not get to play along with some of the cool stuff that the Android uh, store offers nowadays. But then again, the most important aspect is obviously the camera. Now the device has an 8 megapixel shooter at the back and a 5 megapixel shooter at the front. Quite interestingly, in the mode section, you get an auto and the pro mode. This is very interesting. The pro mode is a personal favorite of mine. You get to shoot some of the wonderful pictures using it. Let me just bring an object and shoot a picture at first using the 8 megapixel shooter at the back. Yeah, if you step to focus and let me not use step to focus also. My initial impression is that it took a great picture. And of course, as you can see in the object itself, that it came out just perfect, so smooth, so beautiful. Okay, the camera is a great deal, I must say, in this particular device. And again, I'll test it a bit more in my detailed review and come up uh, with much pros and cons about this particular device of Samsung Z3. Uh, that's it guys, it's my initial impressions of the unboxing of the Samsung Z3. Hope this video helps. Stay subscribed to my channel to catch the review of this particular device very soon. Bye for now.